everybody, today I'm going to read you Gilbert de la Frog Pond, A Swamp Story. Let's read it. Gilbert. Gilbert was a hopper with an appetite for bugs and for caterpillars, dragonflies, and juicy slugs. He ate so many wigged things for oh so many moons. He blew up when he grew up the size of a balloon. <laughs> Since Gilbert was enormous because his feet were small, the hefty little hopper could not swim a stroke at all. So while his friends went swimming the Frankie Frog-like ways, he flopped upon the desert docks and slept away the days. One day, the calm was broken. A pair of garment cooks came hunting around the frog pond for frogs to bait their hooks and they heaped a pile of slugs and flies up high upon dish to attempt the little hoppers who would surely attempt the fish. The hoppers heard of Ruckus, they scurried out of sight. They hid beneath the water where they shook like frog like fright. And all across the frog pond, from rowboat to the shore, not a sound or splash was heard except a single foggy snore. Look at this guy. It's the one who's who's doing the soggy snore. <laughs> the cooks looked around in wonder. They rubbed their eyes in shock. The one said to the other, do you know what's on the dock? A frog so low and sleepy and so big and meaty too. Why? brother catching a small why brother catching a small frogs we could cut this one in two oh no ah uh, what's happening in this picture let's read that got the cooks to thinking at first they scratched his head what need we have, I mean, have we for fish at all? Let's eat this frog instead. We will have his arms for supper, his chubby legs for lunch, and the rest will squeeze into a sausage for brunch. <gasps> Poor Gilbert heard them screaming. Poor Gilbert saw his fate. He closed his eyes and and visualized his legs on a plate. And so to save his slimy skin, he cleared his croaky throat and spinning on his frog legs. Ooh, has a belt in it. That means he has an idea. Let's see. Gilbert faced the squeaky boat. My friends, you must be our met shops. and so am I. You see, I'm Gilbert Dila Frog Pond. That's La Frog Pond with me, with and me. And I'll share with you a secret. As I see you, I got some slugs. Frogs are types, types, pass their days with the latest thing is bugs. 
Oh, yes, there is Han Jacono. There is. Oh, yes, there's a haunted chapel no. There's caterpillar stew and horse fly pin bars. I thought, though the wings are harder to chew. Centipede salad. Dive in for something fresh and light, but watch out for mosquito clutch. I it itched and scratched all night. I'm sure you've heard of chocolate ants and firefly fondue of the earthworm, inches, and bedbug baking. So, why would you eat a frog's legs or a tough, tasteless tart when all of hot Susan a buzz? with insect lo a love made. Look at that. <laughs> There's a smile on his face. It's so funny. The chef looked at the frog and asked, what is this new cuisine? The flavors around exhaust. Though the potions seem quite warm, but if eating bugs is all rage, well, I guess that's we probably should should. They gobbled the slugs and cried. They're really rather good. Oh my gosh, look, a bee sting bag. The chefs threw down their fish poles and they scrambled to the shore. We needed those recipes, they cried. You've got to tell us, tell us more. Look. <laughs> so they talked and ate for hours till they finished all the slugs, bugs and slugs. And then they fell fast asleep. And dreaming about delicious, I mean, and dreaming delicious dreams of bugs. The end.